Lucas Giolito, who's blossomed into one of the best pitchers in the American League, the ace of the White Sox, starting for the first time in his playoff career. I think both are hoping it frees some of their players up. 3-1, Simeon drives one to center. Luis Robert, one of the best defensive outfielders in the game, makes the catch. It's early in this game, but that's where adrenaline, I think, plays a part. Change up, got him. Nasty from Giolito. On the ground to short. Anderson, two down. Changed it dramatically, and it worked. Change up, got Grossman. We talked about Shane Bieber earlier. He's another pitcher that's done the same thing. You're seeing more pitchers do this. You see that short arm path, the efficiency he's able to have. Olsen strikes out swinging. So there's a swing and miss against the high fastball. Playing catch with my catcher. To center field, Robert goes into a little slide. Got him on the outside corner. That he has an understanding. We talked about it with his body, but what he can do, the sixth swing and miss of this game right there as he strikes out Chad Pinder. Just a beautiful job of setting up the slider, too. It was a fastball up and in before this. Goes low and away with the slider perfectly located. 0-2. Oh, Struck him out swinging. Lucas Giolito strikes out the side. He has been perfect with a capital P. Lestella on the ground. Up the middle into center field, and that's the first hit of the game. And maybe a start for the A's, who needed that badly. And it was, it was Lestella back in the first inning that had the hardest contact in this game. He lined out to right field, and here he just stays through. Very classic, traditional ground ball up the middle. No shift on, because Lestella can go anywhere. This ball finds its way. Three and two, Grossman having a good battle here. He strikes out swinging, 94 right on the outside. Seven strikeouts for Giolito. Three, two, struck him out swinging. He's trying to make the decision a little easier. 3 nothing White Sox, seventh inning. Fastball right down the middle, popped up. Remember, there's all this foul territory at the Coliseum. Enough room for Mancata to come over and make the catch, and Olsen is gone on one pitch. That's what that conversation was about. That ball is drilled into right field. That's going to be a base hit, one hop to angle. Canna is going to turn and go to third. So Giolito allowed one base runner through seven full innings, just a little ground ball single. Allows the first two A's to reach base safely here in the bottom of the eighth. And with that, 100 pitches into his playoff debut. Oh, he gets to keep the ball. Ooh, I don't know. Some people would think that's bad luck. We'll be back right after this.